What's up guys, it's Isaiah and I'm back with another video. In this one, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be talking about uh, Gretsch's guitars. <laughs> The reason why I wanted to talk about Gretsch guitars is because honestly, I don't see a lot of people talking about them. And I think they come out with some pretty cool stuff. The guitar that I have with me today is the Gretsch, not dual jet, but jet 290. And what the difference between a dual jet and this jet 290 is primarily is the fact that this has P90 pickups in it instead of the filter Tron type of pickup that you would see inside of your ordinary dual jet. And I just think for the money, Gretsch is making some pretty cool guitars and i wanted to talk about it a little bit the things i like about this guitar things i don't like we're just going to get right into it and see how things go now this guitar is really cool in my opinion it has a purple sparkle finish and if you've been around this channel before you know that i really love purple guitars and purple pedals and stuff like that purple is just one of my favorite colors so every time i see it it drives me crazy and i think the specs on this guitar for the money as a vintage style guitar is just really really good let's go over the nerdy stuff just a little bit and then afterwards we'll talk about the feel and the tone so this guitar is equipped with a bigsby license b50 not bad you know it's not the best bigsby on the market but it's also not the worst bigsby on the market it gets the job done you have two gretsch p90s in there just import p90s but they sound pretty good in my opinion you have this master volume over here while also having a dedicated volume for your neck and your bridge and then you have a master tone right here three-way switch very lp style you know i mean the three-way switch dates back for pretty much forever when it comes to electric guitars you have some die cast tuners up top nothing entirely fancy there mahogany body mahogany net it's a set neck which is really nice it has a laurel fretboard not my favorite fretboard material but it gets the job done you got binding on the neck binding on the top of the body and the headstock not too shabby and you're rocking i believe a 24 6 scale limb don't quote me on that but i think it's 24 6. you have 22 jumbo frets you know we love jumbo frets around here and lastly you're using the adjustomatic bridge to get you fairly intonated and that's pretty much the specs that you're working with now let's talk about the feel of the guitar a little bit the guitar has a fairly thin neck you know i'm not usually big on the thin necks but i don't mind this one too much it's weird it's not as thin as like a gibson slim taper but it's also not as thick as a fat 50s it's sitting somewhere in the middle and i thoroughly enjoy the guitar i'm comfortable with it it doesn't bother me too much which is nice one of the bigger issues when it comes to this guitar it doesn't stay in tune well i will advise and let you know that that's not the guitar's fault anytime that you're rocking a big speed tremolo there's going to be a high high chance that that the tune is going to waver once you start swinging it around because it doesn't waver awfully once i just swing this thing back and i just play it as if that bigsby isn't even there like it gets the job done fairly well but that bigsby is gonna bother you a little bit if you're playing this guitar with it consistently if you know what i mean as far as the feel of it goes it feels slick it feels fast it's very easy to play in my personal opinion. I don't get why I don't see these guitars more often outside of the praise and worship environment for the price that they are. I think $5.99 is a reasonable asking price, especially since these go on sale constantly closer to maybe the $3.99 range. For the specs that you're getting, for what you get out of the guitar, it's a great sounding guitar. It's very faithful to owning like a Japanese Gretsch, just a lot more simplified and control layout and you know using cheaper parts <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain it. i don't know how to talk about this guitar because 
there's not a lot of information about them out there it just sounds good i also really like these little inlays they got going on here i'm not sure what type of inlay this is but i dig how it's just like barely taking up a spot on the fretboard on the end i think that's kind of cool yeah i'm not going to talk too much about the guitar because there's not much to say other than in my personal opinion they're underrated and i wish i could see these live more often or just being used outside of the praise of worship context we're just gonna play it hear how it sounds and see what type of things inspire from me playing this guitar there's one more feature i want to talk about that's kind of weird but i think it's cool you have like these self-locking strap buttons which is really cool. Like you don't need to use a strap lock with this. You can just slap your strap onto here and then just screw this back on. A small detail, but I think that's really cool because you don't see that type of stuff often with guitars. And I just think that's super fun and super useful, you know? But yeah, man, let me know in the comments what you think about what Gretsch is coming out with today. Most Gretsches that I've played personally have been pretty good. Granted, I have never played a Japanese Gretsch before. I've never had the opportunity on unfortunately so there could be a lot missing from these uh more affordable versions of the guitar that i don't know about if you think that's the case why don't you let me know in the comments what do you think gretch could do to further the value and further the authenticity of their budget line of import guitars in my opinion i love this guitar it's probably one that's going to stay with me for a very long time if not forever i don't play it live much myself so i can admit that i might be a part of the problem my main gist is the fact that it goes out of tune so often due to the big speed but keep in mind that they do make hard tail versions of the guitars that should stay in tune just fine if that's what you prefer this is isaiah this has been a very short video i'm just going to play the guitar for you a little bit i'm signing out and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out
So real quickly, I wanted to give an overview of the guitar and just give you my in all opinion of it. I think the guitar is really fun. I think it's cool. I think it sounds great. I do think it does have a huge issue with the fact that it slips a lot out of tune, but if that's something that you can deal with, if that's something that you are fine with and you can get over per se or find solutions to make the tuning stabilize a little bit better with the Bigsby, I think these guitars are a pretty good purchase for $5.99, especially when you catch them on sale closer to that $400 range. I think the control layout is intuitive for it being a vintage style guitar with the master volume being up here instead of next to the individual volume knobs and the tone knob. Things that I wish were a little bit better on this guitar. I wish we had better tuners. Better tuners might have helped with the tuner stability of this having a big speed. I think that would have been great. I would have also loved to see a better nut just because that would also help with the tuner stability of the big speed. I think having some type of rosewood fretboard instead of laurel would have been fun. I feel like we should normalize getting rosewood on budget guitars because it's it's not as hard as a lot of people make it seem prs just came out with their seces in satin and they are 4.99 with real rosewood fretboards let's just make that an industry stand there let's stop at the left we have to use paul Ferro and we have to use laurel i don't see that being the case in the future as the technology of guitar gets better and certain things get cheaper to make that's just my personal opinion i think this is a super comfy and a super fun guitar and it definitely could bring out a different side in your playing overall i think it's a good purchase if you haven't tried one before definitely consider picking it up next time you go to your local guitar store because duo jets and jet twos and honestly all the gretches that aren't japanese man they click dust inside of these guitar shops i guess there's just not a, a cool factor there with playing a gretch but man you're missing out if you've never played these before they have a unique sound to them and a unique feel that you don't get from picking up your around the mill fender or gibson style guitar so please do consider picking up a gretch next time you run by your local shop but without further ado this is isaiah i'll be signing out now and see you guys in the next one